Welcome everyone to the Vion Podcast. Great to be here. So today we're doing a quick dive, but a really fascinating one, into uh, a pretty ambitious space mission. Mm -hmm. The one that sent a spacecraft way out to a near-Earth asteroid called Bennu. Right, Bennu. Yeah. And this wasn't just about flying by, was it? No, not at all. The uh, The really compelling part was how it was designed to approach Bennu. Okay. It had to get close enough to actually briefly touch down, make contact. Touch down. But you said briefly. Yeah, exactly. They actually called it a high five maneuver, which kind of gives you the picture. A high five, huh? So like a very quick tap. Precisely. A very controlled uh, descent right to the surface. Just to make contact. And wasn't there something about uh, using gas? Yes, that was a key part of the collection process. Okay. So once it made that high five contact, the plan was to deploy a burst of nitrogen gas. And why do that? Just to like kick up dust pretty much yeah to gently stir up the surface material the regolith so some of it could be uh captured by the collection mechanism ah got it so it wasn't just touching it was actively trying to grab something exactly stir it up and scoop it up basically so the main prize then was this material these samples from Bennu. that was the primary objective yes specifically collecting carbon rich samples carbon why carbon What's the significance there? Well, that ties into some really big questions, you mm -hmm. know, about <laughs> the origins of life. Okay. How so? The thinking is that asteroids like Bennu, these sort of um, time capsules from the early solar system, uh -huh. they might have been responsible for delivering essential elements for life, including complex carbon molecules to the early Earth billions of years ago. Wow. So we're potentially collecting the stuff that might have seeded life here. That's the really exciting prospect, yeah. Finding those building blocks on Bennu could tell us a lot about our own planet's history and maybe life elsewhere, too. That's, that's yeah, that's incredible to think about. Just mind blowing. It really is. Was that the only reason, though? Or were there other goals for this uh, this tricky maneuver? No, there was definitely more to it. There's also a huge amount of interest globally now in um, asteroid resources. Resources, like what kind of resources? Things like water, which could be used for fuel or life support in space, and potentially valuable metals as well. Right, the whole asteroid mining idea that you hear about sometimes. Exactly, so understanding what's actually on these near-Earth asteroids is uh, becoming increasingly important. Practical applications down the line, you know? Makes sense, it's not just pure science, there's a potential future utility there. For sure, and this mission, uh, OSIRIS-REx, it was a big step. It it launched, let's see, September 8th, 2016. Wow, 2016. From Florida. Yep, Cape Canaveral. So years of travel just to get there for that uh, that brief touch. Amazing planning, amazing execution for such a delicate operation so far away. Really shows what we can do. Absolutely. A groundbreaking mission in many ways. Well, that's certainly given us a lot to think about. <laughs> a fantastic glimpse into exploring our cosmic neighborhood. <laughs> Definitely stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come right here on the Vion Podcast.